Um, a good fight to the fans. Um, we can make more action in the ring. That's what I want because um, I want to prove that at the age of 40 I can still uh, uh, fight to the top of the One that it came out in was yours. We talked about 2019. You had said that this was your get back year. You didn't really want to fight for a big fight necessarily until 2020. Unless it was Manny Pacquiao, of course. Well, you, you get Manny Pacquiao, but there was a little rust in that last fight, and you really your plan was to wait until 2020 for a big fight. So have you had to ramp up your training? Have you had to change your mindset? Because of that. No, you know, this is a big fight as far as the stage goes, but, you know, Pacquiao's a little fighter, you know, so it's a big fight against a little guy, you know what I mean? It's a little different, you know. Um, you know, the, the, the reach, you know, and, he, and he's a veteran, you know. I've dismantled veterans in the past. I've dismantled veterans throughout my whole career. I believe I would have destroyed Manny Pacquiao five years ago. Uh, when he was with Top Rank. So at the end of the day, I've always been ready for this fight. I'm a world-class fighter. Um, Manny's never fought a fighter like me who has the lateral movement, the speed, and the power. He's fought people, you know, that have speed. He's fought people that have power, but not all at one. And he's never fought somebody this young, this strong, this hungry, and um, I'm coming for him. When did you get back to training? I know you, you went to Japan, you got married after that fight, you had some personal things you dealt with. When did you get back in, in the gym? I was in the gym, uh, you know, four weeks ago, you know, <clears throat> just um, getting some small preparation. I said, I know we're in negotiations for this Pacquiao fight. You know, I don't want to do what I did last camp. I don't want to um, have to stress about my weight. And I want to get the ball rolling and use the momentum from my last training camp. It's been um, several years since I've fought twice in one year. So I'm really looking forward to being back, not just in the ring, but as a truly active world champion. And who better to showcase my skills and talent in front of the whole world, my first pay-per-view fight, Manny Pacquiao, you know, so. I'm looking forward to, to July, and I'm looking forward to being back at the MGM Grand. And like he said, he chose me because it will be an exciting fight. It most definitely will. Manny, yesterday, he said he plans to retire you. Your fans don't like that. What do you think of that? Like I said, uh, a lot of my opponents uh, saying uh, uh, a lot of uh, useless words before the fight. <laughs> But when, he, when we uh, get into the ring, it will change. Uh, this thing, same thing happened. And also, uh, uh, most of my opponent is bigger than me, but I did, I beat him all, so. He <laughs> <laughs> beat him all with seven losses, but okay. Oh. You are 10 years his senior. What's different about the 40-year-old Manny Pacquiao than the 30-year-old Manny Pacquiao? I think um, experience uh, uh, is um, very important for this fight. Um, experience, experience is uh, uh, very useful for this fight, and especially uh, fighting and defeated. So I want him to, uh, to experience um, uh, losing in the ring <laughs> Victory is fight IQ. Do you believe that you have a better fight IQ, a higher fight IQ, rather, than Manny Pacquiao? I do. I mean, I've always seen Manny Pacquiao as a world class uh, fighter, not a world class um, boxer. There's a little bit of a difference. Um, it's a how you use the ring when you're in the ring. You know, some of the decisions. Oh, you're gonna see. I'm gonna trip him up. His feet are gonna be sore. He don't even know what direction to move into. He ain't gonna be who I am as a fighter, and it will be proven come July, you know. I mean, I know he likes to quote Bible verses, so I'll let you know he's getting crucified. This question's for Freddie. You have been with Manny for 16 years. 
What have you seen from him of late that impresses you most? Uh, what resumes his work ethic is unbelievable. He still trains. It's hard to do. He's the first time I met him. And he's dedicated, and his work ethic is just un unbelievable. He just work in the gym, and that's why we beat fighters because we we work harder than guys like that one over there. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> we'll see you in July. Okay. You know. Yesterday, Manny, it seemed like you got a kick out of Keith making comments about you not getting hit in the face. But considering the style of a Keith Thurman, is, there, is that a concern for you? Well, he's saying that um, uh, I don't get hit uh, in the face. It's true because um, that's my my focus in training uh, to don't get to to hit the, my opponent and to don't get hit. And uh, footwork, hand speed, like that. Um, that's 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 my focus. Um, but my style, my opponent can easily uh, say, oh, an easy uh, opponent, an easy fighter to beat them. Um, but when we get to the ring, um, they will realize that it's not that easy uh, compared to what what they said. <laughs> what is the biggest difference, in your opinion? In your last opponent to this man standing sitting here. Oh, this is different because yes. um, he's um, he's a aggressive fighter, and I, I like that. I thought um, Broner is um, before the fight, is, he talked too much like that. Yeah. He wanted to be Shocking, aggressive right? to fight to the toe with me, and then when we get to the ring, oh, um, <laughs> the, ring, the whole round, all four, uh, four corners of the ring, and um, he ran there. <laughs> This opponent is different. Uh, Kate Thorman, he wants to, um, he likes to, uh, he's aggressive and he throws a lot of punches. And, uh, I'm, I'm hoping that on July 28th, uh, he will, he will stand on what he said that he will fight to the door with me. Like I've been saying all week long, I'm destroying the legend of Manny Pacquiao. His, leg his legacy ends on July 20th, and my legacy begins. You know, he's had a tremendous career. He's an inspiration to many people, not just throughout the Philippines, throughout all of America, young boxers all around the world. Uh, I mean, he's just done so much, and we all love him, we respect him, and I'm respectfully gonna kick the shit out. <laughs> Tonight inside PBC, that will be at 10 Eastern. Man, I can't, I can't cut you off. Go for it. Yeah, um, yeah. The reason why, the reason why the fans uh, need to uh, uh, watch this fight is very important because this is this fight is once in a lifetime. It's going to be a uh, best fight of the year. Back out, uh, back out, back out. And um, uh, you hear what my opponent say he want to fight to the top with me. So let's. Let's get it on on the July. Yeah. Yeah.